Welcome back and welcome here. If you're a new visitor, let's enjoy mixing up metallic paints. Remember to sus subscribe and all that good stuff. So we're up to using the last of our beautiful global impastos. And you'll see that I struggle to open these because they've been closed for such a long time. It's like I kept the awesome, beautiful, luscious metallics away in hibernation because I was worried about running out. But now it's time to use them up. So we've got a glorious, I've gone to times three now, by the way, times four even. That's a beautiful, rich, metallic dark burnt umber that's a metallic cobalt blue and look that's the last of my original bling and you can see that I squirted a bit of Liquitex pouring medium into the bottom of that gold just to encourage it to scoop up into my cup and I've filled my paints up to about a third of the cup and now squirted a bit more of the global Liquitex in there to bring the paints to consistency I'm just gloving up. Here we go. So that's some more of the Liquitex pouring medium, which really gives the gorgeous cells that we see. I'm just mixing that all up and then adding, eyeballing two thirds of Floetrol. And that's it. That's all that's involved with this paint mixture today. I um, think I add a little bit more Liquitex pouring medium to bring it to the exact consistency with each other. But that's about what I wanted quite a thick pouring medium today and that's just because today that's what I was looking for no reason just feeling like I wanted to do a flip cup later as well as some kind of other creation which both turned out beautifully and of course I'll link those creations into this description box so you can see what this beautiful paint mixture made and I'm making my white up now it's just a Montmartre titanium white. And again, filling that cup a third up. I know it looks more than a third there, but that's because the bottom of the cup is thinner than the top and therefore holds less. And again, filling up with the Floetrol, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and really giving that white a super duper whooper good mix. It's more challenging to mix in our white because we can't see when it's blended. So give it a really good mix and check for translucency and streaks. And there, that's how I mixed up these gorgeous metallics.